What a deck! Hello and welcome to What a Deck, where we play troll decks, rogue decks, and whatever the hell I feel like. I'm your host, Hardleg Joe, and today we're looking at Drytron Toolbox, one of the most powerful ritual archetypes ever created. Uh, normally, I wouldn't play an archetype this strong. This is shaping up to be one of the most powerful meta contenders of 2021. But I didn't know that when I started testing these, and once I did, they, they were a little too fun to give up. So, rather than play the same meta variant that everyone else is, I'm trying to make a more goofy, fun version. I'm specifically ignoring cards like Cyber Angel Ben 10 that are probably going to be banned in the future because of how much advantage they generate for Drytrons. And I'm also ignoring uh, Vanity's Ruler because it's just not fun to floodgate your opponent out of the game. Uh, instead, I'm playing a toolbox of rituals. We've got Chaos Max Dragon, we've got Shino Birds, we've got Megaliths, along with, along with Honest. Because we're all going to die eventually. I, for one, intend to deserve it. So, <laughs> should be a fun time. If you just want a deck profile, there's a link down in the description to a separate shorter video. There, I'll go over everything in here, just explain how it works, give you a sort of Drytrons 101. Otherwise, in this video, it's 10 duels against random opponents on EDO Pro. I'll be testing this out, showing you how it works, and hopefully, we'll have a little fun. Alrighty, here we are, the first duel versus red. Nice to be fighting a color, that doesn't happen very often. Oh boy, what a hand. We started with our field spell, which surges spell traps, and two spell traps. Um, not actually a very good start. I think we should still have the ability to do all the things we want to do, especially going up against Metaphys. This is an archetype, one of my favorite archetypes actually, plays mostly during your opponent's standby phase. Well, plays during both players' standby phases, but mostly during the opponent's standby phase, which isn't really going to affect us. We're not going to have anything for them to banish during our standby phase, and we should be able to clear everything off the field before their standby phase hits. Um, we'll see though. I actually understand this a bit. So during the standby, everything that's banished gets to do some stuff. So he gets to ban shuffle that back into the deck and then do something. Banish this. During the standby phase of the next turn, you could shuffle one banish card into the deck, add one metaphys. Okay. There's one that lets you summon a metaphys, and there's a metaphys that like, when it's summoned, it banishes all monsters on the field. That, that could, that would be a little tricky for us. Fortunately, I think we're pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and activate Fafnir, the field spell, the giant ship. And we're going to add, um, this, because it's the only one we don't have, and the rest of these we don't really need more of. Um, let's see here. Ooh, Macro Cosmos. That is a little tricky. That's going to banish everything we love. It's just gonna banish everything we love. I think... I think we've got this, though, so... I mean, it's gonna suck, but we've got this. So we're gonna Drytron Nova. We're gonna summon one of the Drytrons. That's all this does, is just summon one from the deck. Well, fuck. I think we get floodgated out of the game just immediately, because the only things I play that can stop that are other Drytrons, which I cannot summon. So, I think we just lose? Oh, it's destroyed during the end phase. I did not know that. It's fine either way. Well, it's not fine either way. Yeah, this is unfortunate. And I guess this is a good time to- I was gonna bring this up eventually, but this is actually my second attempt filming this. I- I recorded another one, I got one duel in, and then halfway through the second duel, my computer just completely crashed. And I was like, oh, that's fine, that'll give me- it was only like 10 minutes of recording, and it'll give me a chance to re-record it. I didn't- I didn't do very well, because my opponent had Zombie World. And it completely froze us out of the game because the uh, the ritual spell needs machine monsters. You can use them from your hand, but it needs machine monsters on the hand or field. Zombie world turns everything on the field into zombies. So, um, yeah, the fact that they had that completely fucked us over. Not as hard as this, but that is one of the big weaknesses of this deck in general, is that it doesn't have much out to floodgates like this. If you get hit with something like Macro Cosmos or, um, or Zombie World, or, um, what's the other one? There can only be one, there can only be one would really screw us over as well. 
Tikaboo, as it's sometimes called. We got this. So yeah, I'm just I'm just doomed. <laughs> For the most part. Well, at least I could do something. That'll be fun. He's got things. All right, yeah, he's getting another Ragnarok. I mean, this won't win us the game, but it'll have it'll do something. Yep, summon the Ragnarok. This banishes three. You're just learning all about uh, Metaphys at this point. Yeah, because they want everything banished, they're one of the few archetypes that can really just play this. And that's also one of the weaknesses of Drytron in general, like graveyard stuff. If you're looking for a way to beat Drytron, uh, side in DD Crow, side in um, Macro Cosmos, stuff like that, and your opponent will have a bad time. So let's Cyber Angel Core, let's get Cyber Emergency. And at the very least, we can get rid of this Geo Math Mech. No, we can't. <laughs> I was like, excuse me, how come I can't Fusion Summon? By sending the above cards on the field to the graveyard. It's to the graveyard. Monster sent to the graveyard would be banished instead. Rip. I can't even make Chimera attack because I need to send to Graveyard. That macro. <laughs> it's like you couldn't, it's, you know, I like Metaphys and everything, but it's like, man, you could have played normal monsters. If you activated macro, I would still be dead. <laughs> um, do I have anything? I can... Hmm. I might be able to. It would it'd pretty much shut down everything forever. Okay, let's try it. So, let's see. We can activate this. You can discard a... You can summon these by discarding a Drytron or a Ritual. And then this one, they have effects when they're summoned. This one's like, reveal a Ritual, so draw a card. Hey, we got a card. Um... And then we can make Nightmare Phoenix. <laughs> we can make Nightmare Phoenix. And discard Foolish Burial to destroy the Macro Cosmos. So now that's taken care of. That's good. Um, we can activate another one of these. Add a Drytron spell. Yes, yeah, so we're going to get Nova again because that summons from the deck. Actually, we might be able to do this, now that I'm thinking about it. So we could summon Alpha. Alpha, when it's summoned by its own effect, gets us a... thing. Um, let's see here. It gets us a ritual monster. We don't have a good way to summon it, though. Oh, wait, yeah, we do. We just need to... I'm gonna make Nightmare Unicorn. We don't, we're not going to send anything back because we need all the cards in our hand. We're just going to make it so that we can get this in the graveyard. Because it can be summoned out of the graveyard. So you can discard this, Drytron, summon it out of the graveyard, add a ritual monster from deck to hand. Let's go for this one. And then we can activate this in the graveyard by sending uh, that to the graveyard. I guess it doesn't really matter. Special summon to Drytron. That's what this does when it's when it's summoned. And now we've got 4,000. You ritual summon using the attack, not the level. So 4,000 for 4,000 to make this. Uh, nope. And then this can blow up all spell traps on the field. And then it can attack over Geo Math Mech because 4,000. And then I'm going to end my turn because I'm almost out of time. There we go. And normally I would add something back. So we at least kind of got to do something. It just took our entire hand. And depending on what he has banished, he might be able to just completely banish our board, which would stop this completely. This thing has a little protection. In addition to blowing up all the spell traps, it can, um, uh, whatchamacallit. It can't be targeted by spell trap effects, which is really nice. It means that, um, you know, if you normal summon this, Ooh, shuffling everything back. Not big enough. 
It means that uh, if you activate this and your opponent has like a uh, infinite and permanent set, they actually can't use it on this to stop their spell traps from being destroyed. Hey, we might have pulled our way out. I spent all that time being doom and gloom. Um, all right. So we're going to summon Alpha by discarding Alpha. That'll get us our other ritual. Let's go for Meteorus. Meteorus Draconis. And then we're going to activate the ritual spell. You can reduce a monster's attack by a thousand, add it to hand. Another Drytron or a ritual. And then we're going to discard this to get two. Because it summons another one from the, 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 the graveyard. And then we're going to use the ritual to ritual summon from the graveyard this back using the two 2000s. Hello, nice to meet you. And then we're going to make, um... I'm going to make Link Karibo. Just in case. So this thing um, can attack every special summoned monster once, which is nice. And then during the opponent's turn, it can banish monsters from the graveyard to destroy a card on the opponent's side of the field. It's, what was it? It's for every 2,000 you banish, you get to destroy another card. And I think it's up to two. It's really weirdly worded, but basically you can banish two Drytrons to pop two cards, or you could banish a 4,000 attack monster and pop two cards. Or you could banish one and pop one card. It's very neat. It's basically a double, um, double Drydent. So double Drydent on a 4,000 body that also, um, can't be targeted by monster effects. Unfortunately, this special summons something from his hand. If he's got the one that banishes all cards I control, like that. Well, your monster's gonna be lower level. And there goes my heart. <laughs> my entire heart, every ounce of my heart. Rip Aroni. Um, and yeah, we've got the foolish burial. Didn't I already Oh, they shuffled it back. Um I don't think ascending anything would help because nothing can be used during the graveyard. Um I mean, I could... Yeah, I can do this, which is not going to... It's it's not going to save me, but it'll do something. It'll get me a defense wall. That That's about it. <laughs> and it'll deck thin. So I have a 1500 defense. And if you're wondering why people don't play incantations with this deck, so the Drytrons have this unique thing where uh, they can't be normal... Even though they're level 1, they can't be normal summoned. Or set. They can only be special summoned by discarding a, a Drytron or a Ritual monster. And they have this thing that, like, you can't use their effects if the, um, if you've special summoned a monster this turn that can be normal summoned or set. So, like, the, the, uh, the, what are they called? The incantations can be normal summoned or set if you feel like it. And because of that, you can't summon them and then also do this stuff. It's kind of weird like that. All right, so we've got these. This is any monster sent to the graveyard is banished instead. So we're in a, another delicate situation, but I think we can end the game here if we do this smartly. So we can alpha, we'll have to banish our only other copy of that. Um, that'll add a ritual from deck to hand. Um, what do we have in our graveyard? Any rituals? No. So Bethor is still not good. Let's go for Peacock. Because we just need to end the game. Um, let's get this back out. Pay a thousand. Do we have another in the grave? We do. We have another alpha in the graveyard. So we can... Send that. Don't want to... Usually you could send this and it's fine because they summon out of the graveyard and whatever. But we, we banish it and we don't want to do that. Instead, we're going to summon this. 4,000 is more than 3,000. And we barely pulled it out. <laughs> Just barely. Somehow we managed to win with the... the, the I don't even know how that... <laughs> I, I, I guess I, that was the thing. Is like the, um, the macrocosmos really shut us down. But I forgot that one of their weaknesses... 
I don't know, Metaphys can usually put on, like, OTK damage. I think they might have messed up. I wasn't paying attention because I thought we had lost. But we managed to win! Just the, goes to show you the power. They have so much recovery because they can play out of the graveyard, assuming you have access to the graveyard. So let's go ahead into the second duel and... And do the second duel, I guess. <laughs> I didn't have anything clever. I was going to say to see if we could do better, but we did we did good. I did a good one. We still won. <laughs> All righty then. Here we are, duel number 2 versus full scent. Interesting. I wonder if they mean like scent like the sniffer, like smelling stuff. Let's see. And we've lost the coin toss, but that doesn't really matter because we we prefer to go second anyway. Most decks like to go first. Oh, and we're going okay. Either way, we can still go first. Um, I just need to think for a second. Yeah, it's not optimal, but we could do it. We can just get things set up. So what we're going to do, we could send to the graveyard. What don't we have? Um, Zeta. So Zeta can discard. We'll summon it by discarding one of these. And this searches your uh, ritual spell. So we'll get that. And then... Actually, yeah, we're going to go ahead and summon this. And they lost connection. <laughs> what a surprise! But yeah, this one you can discard, or when you summon it, you can reveal a, uh, a ritual spell or a ritual monster and then, and then draw a card. So we would have gotten a free draw. Then we would have been able to search our monster, the one that has the quick effect pop on their turn. And also can't be targeted by monster effects. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. And then... Yeah, we could have discarded that, and what we would have ended up with is we would have had four monsters, so we could use two of them to get our ritual spell, or a ritual monster on board, the 4,000, and then we would have had two more left, and we could have made, um, what's it called? Liralusk Assembled Nightingale, which is really good because it can discard during either player, or detach during either player's turn, to make it so you don't take battle damage this turn. So as soon as the standby phase starts, you can activate that. So they can't OTK you no matter what. And because we're going to have all four of the uh, the Drytrons in the graveyard set up, we're going to be able to play again next turn and make a whole bunch of stuff. So we would have been completely set up, ready to go to OTK when we did come around to turn two. But we never got that far. And because that first duel took a long time, and because this is the second time I'm recording this, I'm just going to count that as a win. I'm going to say I spooked them, I scared them. Spooky, scary skeletons flying in from space down here. And we'll go to the third duel. <laughs> All right, here we are. Duel number three versus Sean, 1573. Uh, we're going to choose to go second. I'm Lamba Gassar, by the way. Comment in the comments if you get that reference. I doubt it. I sincerely doubt it. Unless we got some big astrology fans in the audience. I didn't even know what the the uh, the Drytrons were named after until I had to look it up. And like that's obscure enough as it is, with this being even more obscure. Also, I'm predicting right now if they do get another card, it's gonna be named that. It'll be Drytron Lamba Gassar or something similar. They all have the they, the, yu gi -Oh seems to use alf like the Greek alphabet a lot. There's a lot of alpha, beta, gamma, deltas and stuff. But fo for fortunately, these also have additional. This is Thumba. And then Meteoris Dracon. This Dr Dracon? Draconids? I don't know. I kind of like the, uh, the DRA. I think that would have been a better name for them. That's apparently what it is in uh, Japan. They've got like English letters and then a bunch of Japanese text. Looks like we're playing against Toons, by the way. Not a whole lot to say about Toons. They, they definitely got some more support. They can do a thing or two. But I think they have one counter trap, and they didn't get it this time. So we're going to go ahead, Cyber Dragon Core. Search ourselves out a Cyber Repair Plant, because we've already got the Cyber Emergency. And then we're going to Nova. We're just going to summon, I don't know, what do I need? The one that gets the ritual spell? Yeah. Let's get that. Let's just go ahead and, um... Oh, hey. That'll be fun. Anima. Let's give them the slurp. Drinkies for me. Just like I always wanted. 
Yeah, unfortunately, we're going to see a lot of, like, if I get floodgates, then I'm fucked. And if I don't get floodgates, then I'm just going to win in, like, a turn. And it's going to it's gonna be sad for everyone involved. Um, did I already... No, I haven't used this yet. All right. Let's go ahead and get um, this one. Gamma. Gamma El Tanin. Which I believe is another cyber dragon thing. And let's go ahead. Let's just get this one. This is the big one. This is the good one. Um, yep. And then we're just going to discard that. Summon this. Oh, I don't have any more in the graveyard. Well, excuse me. Excuse me for existing. That's what I get for trying to exist. Oh, I already had one. Not even paying attention. It's good to play a deck like this every once in a while because it's... <laughs> it's just a relief. It's just fun to be able to do something once in a while. Where you don't have to think super duper hard. Um, yeah, that's fine. I could do more stuff. I could probably OTK, but... Let's give them a chance. Let's, let's let them have a fighting tune of a chance. We'll just leave this stuff out here. Um, yeah, I can't even activate my Cyber Repair Plant. You could link this away and then Cyber Repair Plant and search another Drytron. If you wanted to, or one of your rituals. Well, I guess it's just the ritual Drytrons, because they're light machines. Um... Yeah, I'm just going to banish that and blow up these two. You're not going to make tune, Dracondis! I don't, I won't allow it. Not in this household. Ooh, a part of me. Ah, Blackluster Soldier, Envoy of the Soldier. End of the main phase, all right. Yeah, he can't target me with attack, so he can just attack over things. Ouch. Got your tune back, so that's good. Can this thing attack twice? Nope. It's just it's just normal. It's just a normal thing. There we go. So let's go ahead. Because I want to do this at least once. Honest Kapow. And then attack for four thousand with Dracondus. That's why I play the honest. You don't need the honest. Originally I had um what was it? Pot of Extravagance in here? Because you don't really need the extra deck except for, like, um, Zeus. So I, I was just like, yeah, I'll just draw more. And I, I, it was just too good. It, <laughs> I'm already, like, really dominating these, uh, these more rogue decks and stuff. At least I was in testing. Who's to say? I'll probably get completely stomped by a rogue deck here during this episode. Just, just bring me down with some humble pie. So it's like, yeah, we don't need draw power. I'll save the draw power for a deck that really needs it. And instead I'll just play Honest, because oftentimes I would end with like a Cyber Dragon core, especially if someone made me go first. And I like the fact that they think like, oh, he's going to leave out a 400, is he? And then they attack into it, and I'm like, I still play Honest. Plus it's also neat, a lot of people don't expect you to use it on this, because they're like, Oh yeah, there you wouldn't you wouldn't have battle protection because you got four thousand attack monsters. There's no need for it, not unless you were crazy. <laughs> Let's go to the next duel. Alrighty, here we are, duel number quattro, the big four, going up against Flame of Lorthic, Lothric, Lothric. I see. Maybe they will put up something that's not a floodgate that still gives us a. a <laughs> Well then, Artillery Catapult Turtle. So we're playing Gaia the Fierce Knight. Not a very good deck. It does have the ability, I think it has a quick effect pop. Oh, or a level 5 dragon. Okay. Well, excuse me, Armed Thunder Dragon, level 5. Dragon Monster's effect. Okay, Armed Dragon Thunder, level 7. Um, while this is on the field, you could send this. Okay. I don't know what the big armed dragon does, so we're gonna find that out. This is gonna be an interesting time, I tell you what. Armed dragon level 10. Um, and then armed dragon lightning. 
that would be destroyed by battler card effect you could send this to the graveyard instead you could target an armed dragon it gains attack equal to its level or add one armed dragon with a level less than or equal to okay um it gains mons effects equal to its own attack once per turn, it's so you can send one card and then target one card on the field, destroy it, and if you do, this gains a thousand attack. And if it gets up to ten thousand, it can destroy all cards on the field. So he's got he's got quick effect destruction. We can, we can have ourselves a bad time. Okay, so what we're gonna do? <laughs> we're gonna Drytron Nova Nova summon a Drytron from the deck. It will be a fun time. Ash, Blossom. Ripperoni, I tell you what. Um, that actually puts a bit of damper on our wagon. Because, while well, I can activate this and add a Drytron spell, this searches the, the ritual spell, so I don't really need this. And I've already got this one, so all I can really add is this. And I don't think I can use this again. No, I can't. And I can't summon this because I have nothing else. I can't activate this. We play this at one in case we already have the other cyber card and we, we normal summon. So that Ash Blossom actually stops us. An unfortunate series of events. You're going to destroy the... Uh, the Okay. Gotcha. 4,000. So the real question is, if he can put another 4,000, I don't think he can. Armagram. Ah, that's going to be a lot of damage. So that's four, five, six, seven, essentially. Eight, nine. Well, hot diggity daffodil. The clutch. <laughs> All the clutch. And yeah, this is one of those cases where like, if I wasn't playing honest, I would, I would have a good time. I wonder if Mercy will work. Please. Mercy. That Ash. I just need one more turn. Por que? And I guess a lot of people don't play this either. This is something, again, you can search with Fafnir if you already have one of these, since you can only activate one per turn. Yep, we lose to Armed Thunder... Well, we lost to Ash, essentially. But I guess this allowed him to put on another uh, 8,000 damage in one turn. So there you go. That's... <laughs> unfortunate. Yeah, but again, that's, you know, I went into this knowing I was playing a suboptimal deck. If you look at, like, the meta versions of that, they aren't playing this. Uh, like I said, you could search this with Fafnir if you already have a Drytron. Most people don't play, like, a backup. They're just like, oh, now I have double the things I need. Same with this, most people aren't playing this, most people aren't playing this. Uh, specifically for situations like this, where you end up with too many spells you can't activate, and uh, nothing else. I guess I should have set Honest. If I had done that, I might have had... I don't know if you could discard other things. Either way, let's go ahead into the fifth duel. <laughs> Alright, here we are in the fifth duel versus my arch nemesis player, showing his face for the first time in 2021. At least as far as you know. I, I, <laughs> it's always weird re-recording these. I try to make them as honest as possible. So I try not to re-record stuff. It, when I mean, obviously there's nothing I can do if my computer crashes. But um, it feels weird going into this because he was the second duel that I was playing. And I made a big deal about, this is the first instance of player. And then, and then the computer crashed. Um, so yeah, this is when you want to get Cyber Patrol. Because we already got one Cyber Emergency and you can only activate one. It's a good time. Let's go in the Drytron Nova. Let's get the... this one. Hello. Nice to meet you. Let's go ahead and make, um... Nightmare Phoenix again. Let's pop one of these. Make sure it's nothing that's gonna... that's gonna dingle or dangle, if you know what I mean. Um... Yep. Hopperoo. Call of the Haunted. All right. An interesting thing, if ever there was one. Let's go for that. Add a ritual spell. Howdy, howdy. Um, activate the cyber repair plant. Add a light machine. Let's go for... 
This? Yes. Why not? Not that we're going to use that. Instead, we're going to do something funny. We're going to do a funny thing, guys. We're going to make Gem Trans... Tra Geo... Geonator Transverser. Why are you making that, Joe? It's for funny. You watch. Make that. Add one ritual monster. Yes. Let's add Chaos Max Dragon, shall we? You can use Geo Transverser to switch two monsters that this points to. It's got diagonal arrows, so I'll take the face down. And you'll get the, the Thubin. Oh, and Zector Ladybug, I see. Then we'll use uh, Cyber Emergency. Get ourselves L Gamma. Use L Gamma, discarding the Cyber Dragon. Um, Cyber Max Dragon. Summon something from the graveyard. Now we've got 4,000. So we can summon the Chaos Max Dragon using these two. And if you're unfamiliar with Chaos Max Dragon, it does double piercing damage to defense position monsters. And because all the Drytrons have zero defense, you get yourself an OTK, buddy. <laughs> Drytron OTK! Drytron Max OTK! You're welcome, everyone. Not sure if this would actually work in, like, a meta-competitive thing, but it's fun that I found a way to do it. Yeah, I remember having to build an, an entire deck around this. Around, like, summoning zero attack monsters and then creature swapping it and then making Chaos Max. So it's nice that thanks to this link, you could just do it natively as part of a Drytron deck and it doesn't even affect anything. It's just one card that's not even a Garnet, because this is still pretty good against some decks. But either way, I hope you enjoy- let's go into the halfway point. We're halfway through the duels, hey. Oh, hello! Welcome to the halfway point, that thing I mentioned. This is where I take a moment to, to see if I can secure some more funding for this channel. I know, I know I'm wearing a top hat, it makes me look fancy, but I actually don't have- all that much money. I rely almost exclusively on the donations of generous people on Patreon, which if you don't know is a crowdfunding site. You can you can uh, fund ongoing things like this show, like this channel, by donating like a dollar a month or five dollars a month. And that helps me not only to get food and eat and survive, which I can do do right now pretty easily, but it also helps me to improve the channel. For instance, right now I'm trying to reach a new goal. If I can get $100 more than what I'm making now, I can hire an editor to make these, to, to edit these episodes for me. And not only will that give me more time to pursue the other things that I want to work on, I've been writing a novel that's going to be fun. I'm going to try to put that on YouTube, like as an audiobook. That, that'll be neat. I've got a politics channel I'm working on. A lot of people seem to enjoy those videos, just, just not on here. And, uh, you know, having an editor would free up time to work on those. He'd probably also make the, the episodes much more entertaining and fun. So if you're interested in seeing that at all, again, I'm trying to get $100. I've about 15,000 people watch these every week. So if 100 of you could donate a dollar or two, that, that would help me get to the goal. I, I, it may not feel like much, but those $1 donations really help. And, you know, you also get rewards for it. Everyone who donates gets on my Discord, which, because it's kind of gate-locked, is actually really, really nice. Lots of friendly people there. So, you know, check that out. Patreon.com slash HardLegGaming. And if you can't give, I understand. I appreciate it. Just like the video. Maybe tell your friends. Share the video around. Maybe you can make them fans. And then they'll become patrons. It, it all works out. Either way, let's jump back into the duel, shall we? All right, here we are, duel number... I was gonna say two, but it's not. It's part two. We're in duel number six, actually, versus Kipstas. An interesting name, if ever there was one. I just realized I forgot to mark down that I won the last duel. I gotta... I keep track of this stuff on paper. I find it's, it's easier than having, like, a document open. Plus, it's a neat... I can, I can also have notes about stuff I need to do and everything. I'm hoping at some point I'll have, like, a charity event and I can raffle this off. Because I'm sure someone wants this notebook. It has, like, five years worth of what a deck scores and random notes about DBCs and stuff in it. And there's only one of them. People, people like that trivia and stuff, right? Possibly? I don't know. Comment in the comments if that would interest you. Either way, it looks like we're playing against Orcist. Ooh, Brass Bombard. I haven't seen that one in a while. 
Um, we've got a pretty good hand. Any hand where you start with, like, two... Two Drytrons, pretty good. And then we've got the, uh, we've got Double Honest. So we could, we might be able to just OTK them outright by surprise. Hard to say. It looks like, ooh, and they're also playing Rocket. So it's like Danger, Rocket, Orcist. That could be problematic. Not in like a progressive way, but like problematic in that uh, they could put on multiple negates and I might not be able to play through it. You can usually play through two, maybe even three if you have a good hand. A uh, double honest is not a good hand. <laughs> I could also normal summon the honest and just dare him to attack it. You're like, what's the chances I got that other honest in my hand? But uh, either way, it looks like big combos coming up. So, I, I'm just gonna skip ahead. We'll, we'll find out what the combos end on together. We'll be back. Hey. Alright, so it looks like they, they ended on the orchestrated climax. And they've got two fog blades, which might be a problem. Let's go ahead and do the Fafnir. Really, if we can get the climax out, then we can make the thing that's untargetable by spell traps and then blow these up and then we won't have to worry about them. It's just a matter of seeing what we can get to. Yeah, I think we would just want to get to this. We already have a way to search it, but I'm worried that we might have too many ways. So I want to get... Let's see. Okay. So we're going to activate this by discarding that. Draw another card for free. Thumbs up. And just see if we can get them to, to, uh, to, to burn the climax somehow. Yeah, and this is all part of the same effect. So if they don't stop the summon, then they don't negate anything. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Then we summon Zeta by discarding Alpha. Making lots of stuff. Skullmeister. I don't need it. I don't need it. I definitely don't need it. Let's discard that. And there's the Climax, which banishes, and I think I'm doomed now. Yep, that actually stops it. Um, let's see. I can make Link Karibo or Relinquished Anima. That doesn't really help me, though. Uh, let's Normal Summon Honest, shall we? No, I don't really... This, this has another effect. It doesn't really matter. Nothing really matters. Anyone can see. Um. So they already used the Climax, so there's not really anything. I think we need to get rid of the Rusty Bardiche. I think that's the biggest threat to us right now. Are you going to stop it with the Fog Blade at this point? Okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. In that case, I can make that. I could make a nightmare and destroy the other one. I could make a Link Karibo. Yeah, unfortunately, no arrows to point anywhere, so the 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 anima won't do very much. And the transverser points that way, and I won't have another any anything anyway. Yeah, I think Link Karibo is just the best way to go. Um, Dry Try, no. I was like, what? Uh, yeah, we're good. We're just gonna do this. Maybe they'll attack into the Honest with something, and that'll be funny. And yeah, again, this is a, this is a case of like. If I didn't open with two honest, I probably could have done better, but I have no one to blame for that but myself, because you don't you don't need honest in this deck in the slightest. Um, I probably could have done I'm trying to think like if I had searched something else, are you gonna use Unicorn on the Honest or the uh Link Karibo? <laughs> on the Honest <laughs> The Mind Games. I mean the mind games happen to be true this time. He's just funny. Oh, and is that an OTK? Is that enough damage? 50, 60, 70, and then you can, um... And then you can banish the Fog Blade to summon another thing. 
Yep, Ripperoni. They had the Skullmeister. They were prepared. Yeah, Skullmeister, DD Crow. Those are the things you're going to have to summon out if you want to... Um, if you want to try to fight the Drytrons. If they're tearing up wherever you're at. Graveyard Hate. Graveyard Hate will shut them down every time. Or you could convince them to run Honest. <laughs> I'm not sure how effective that is, but you could do it. You already have game, buddy. I don't know what you, what else you're doing. You, I don't Either way, let's go ahead to the seventh duel. The fighting seventh. <laughs> All right, here we are. Seventh duel playing against a regular guy. Just Aaron Craft coming on in here. Crafting their way to victory. Ooh, two Nova. Maybe I should just run like two of these or something. I don't know. Ooh, and they wanted to go second, apparently. Or they're just in a bad way. I don't know. And another cyber repair plant, too. Just all sorts of bad stuff. All right. Um, and this is like the one of, yep, yeah, beta. Dang all, I don't need it. <laughs> I don't need it. I definitely don't need it. Let's see. Yeah, we're going to discard that. Yeah, we play this one of, it recovers, um, whatchamacallit. It recovers banished Drytrons, puts them back into the graveyard, which doesn't particularly help. Um, let's go ahead and make this. We're going to make Assembled Nightingale. We're just going to assemble our Nightingale here. Just give a poke. 400. It can attack once for... It gains 200 for every material, and it can attack for every material. So there you go. 400. Another 400. hoop de doop and then we just summoned uh, Zeus, the god of batteries. Kapow! Right on top. Just send everything to the graveyard if you feel like it. Of course, if he's got some kind of like lightning snow, no, lightning storm wouldn't work on this because it's not an attack mode. Yep, go ahead. Granted, it might have been safer to just stay on the, um, whatchamacallit. If he's got like a kaiju for this and he can OTK me, I'm just dead. But, um,. Whereas if I had the bird, if I kept the bird out, I could just, uh, whatchamacallit, I could just prevent all damage and then be fine. Okay, fine, well. We'll, we'll both die then. Pop, pop. All right, blue eyes. Nothing. Not a single dang thing. All right. Yep, we're still in not the greatest position, but I think we're good enough. <laughs> all the ash blossom every single one all right we're gonna discard that for this add a ritual spell to hand just a deck thin we play two in case one gets banished or something um and then we can summon that by sending this add dra and then we can discard the DRA to summon this one, which will do nothing when it's summoned, but it exists. And now we can do this. Doodle it. Hello, it is me, Big Boy. I have the biggest chungus available. And normally, if I couldn't OTK, I would just, uh, I would use the Meteorus Drytron, just lower this by a thousand and take it back. Because what's that a thousand gonna hurt? But I'm going up against Blue Eyes. They're literally a bunch of 3,000 monsters. I don't want to give him the ability to crash. Um, and plus I already have another, another in my hand. You can't target me with monster effects, buddy. I'm not sure if you're aware of this. I could target you with effects, though. I'm not sure if you're aware of that. It didn't give me the option, but I could have. Um, okay. And we got a Cyber Dragon Core. That's neat. This might finally become live. We'll get a Cyber Emergency. Go ahead, hit me with the third Ash Blossom. Do it! Alright, that's what I thought. Get one of those out. Um, let's go ahead... Yep, we're going to do this one. Search Ritual. Called by the grave. He's just calling by the grave, isn't he? I'll need it. 
I kind of needed it. Um. Okay. Wait, is this a machine? No, I could make it with my own machine. Um, Al Mirage. There we go. Now I can do this. Add one light machine. Yes. Let's get a tricky thing. I kind of want this one for later, but I think at this point I can better win the game. Yeah, I can just win the game with this. Okay. So. Oh, yeah. Finally, I get to use beta for the reason it's made for. Summon this. Return that to the graveyard. We're good. Thumbs up. And then we can send that to the graveyard to get two. Um, doesn't really matter. I'm going to sneeze. Hit you. Ooh, pardon me. Oh, no. <laughs> Big rock. Big rock, come down. Um, sure. I'm, I'm going to be a very big token, though. Like, holy fuck. That's a huge-ass token. Um. But that's all I can do. That's it. I have been I have been hit with Nibiru, which is a weakness of this deck. Which is why a lot of the meta versions are playing, like, Vanity's Fiend and stuff. Now, do you have another Blue Eyes and another alternative... No, but you have Levy and Ear, which I believe can pop this. You better hope it can pop it. If not, jeez. Here, one sec, I gotta blow my nose. I'll be right back. <laughs> Alright, so he only had Light Monsters, so all he could do is bring back Ash Blossom. And then he had Verte Anaconda. And then he lost Connection. So I'm not- I'm, I'm curious if he had the ability to make, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, Dragoon, because I think that would have been able to- I, and I forget how Dragoon's effect works. So let's see, shall we? Do you has Dragoon? Question mark? I think you can't actually put question marks in the thing, or otherwise they won't save properly because it's a weird character. I don't know. Either way, let's check. <laughs> All right, looking through their deck. Well, they had the black... Oh, did they already get rid of the black dragon? I think I think they already got rid of it at some point. Because they had it in their hand, and if it was in the graveyard, there'd be nothing they could do to get rid of that big token. Because Red Eyes Fusion can't summon from the graveyard. Yep, there's the Red Eyes Fusion. And there's... The Dark Magician. Yeah, and Red Eyes Fusion has to be from the deck. Hand, deck, or field. But I think they already discarded- yeah, they discarded it for one of the Melody of Awakening Dragon. But even if they could get it, does this work on... Okay. Target one monster, inflict attack equal to its original attack. Not sure how that works with tokens. He might have done 11,000 burn to me. Either way, I count it as a win. <laughs> Here we are in the Ocho versus Quattro. An interesting... <laughs> a, uh, an interesting thing. Coincidence? I think not! That's just a meme. It, it's, it's completely a coincidence. I swear these are all random. Um, let's go ahead and get the ritual spell because we've already got this. Um, let's go ahead and... Cyber Dragon Core. Do it for the core. Let's get Cyber Emergency because we don't have it. And we want it. Um, what can we do? We could do, like, IP into something else. And then also have this, I think. Let us see. Unless we get hit by Ash Blossom. They haven't Ash Blossom just yet. Um, okay. Delta is the one that draws a card. We'll do that. Summon two monsters so far. I think they have an infinite impermanence or a um effect veiler. It has to be one of those two. Because it wouldn't be pausing like this yet for Nabiru. Add one ritual monster? Heck yes. Um, what was I going to do? Yes. There we go. Ah, Edge Imp Scythe. Wasn't expecting that one. Um, yeah. 
This is when a monster is summoned, you can reduce its uh, level by its attack. A thousand for... Uh, the, they lose a level for every a thousand attack. I'm not sure if that hurts them. It's like some weird anti ixy thing. But they got it. Uh, once per turn, you can target one fright for... Yeah, so they get to destroy something, which doesn't really affect me in the slightest. So I think we're good. Um, let's go ahead and discard this. Hello? Uh, reveal a ritual to draw a card. Yes, the one that I, they already know I searched. Hey, I've already used that. Okay, um... Cyber Emergency. And we need the one that summons twice. Yeah. Because we've already got stuff in the graveyard. Um, actually, what I could do is steal that with Transverser. That would be neat. But I think I'd rather make something better. So what we're going to do... I just need to think about this. Going to discard that. Summon two. And then, yeah, I think at this point the better move to make is to go into IP Mascarena. And Nightmare Phoenix. And then Crusadia Astromax. Um. Yep, there we go. And I'm not sure they can get over that. That's at least what I'm hoping. There might have been better things. I could have stolen this. I could have ended on RNA. I could have ended on, um... Let's open up this. Could have ended on RNA. I could have ended on Assembled Nightingale or Zeus. But this can't be targeted naturally. Because I made it with Mascarena, it can't be destroyed by card effects. And if they attack it with a monster that has higher attack, this honests itself. So it gains the attack. And even if it does go to the graveyard somehow, you can um, spin back a monster they control. And I chose that over RNA. RNA can't be targeted. This guy, DRA, I should say. Or Dracondis is the, the actual name. I chose that over Dracondis. It can't be targeted. Um, and it does have 4,000, but Fluffles can actually get over 4,000 if they can fusion summon enough, which they might be able to. Ah, interesting. Fright for sheep. I think that might be able to get over my things. Because I can't activate stuff when it attacks. The question is if they can sheep. Yep, they can crash it. Oh, can I still use the effect? Okay. Yep, we're just gonna shuffle that back. But it came back. So nice, they found a way to out it. Congratulations, Frightfur. It did cost them the OTK, though. And now I think I'm going to be able to stomp. Use the stomp effect. Um, and you don't want to use that cyber dragon if you can help it. Uh, let's see here. Let's go for this, I think, is the one we want. Um, yeah, we've already got the field spell, so let's go ahead. We've already got all, the, all of them. There's only four. Oh, we've got all the, the good ones. Draw a card. Hey. Which is nice. I don't think we've summoned it yet. But I think I'd rather get both the big, big, big beaters on them. Um. Yep, Q Doris. Let's go for it. Oh, wait, I grabbed the wrong, whatever. It's fine. Who needs to exist? Not me. I'm not an exister. And there's not... Okay. I done goofed! Uh, okay. This. We'll use these two. Uh, nope. You can lower your own monster's levels if you want to. Yeah, because I messed up with that, we're not going to be able to summon both of the 4,000 beaters. But we can still get in for 7,000. That's a lot. Because now they have 3,000 attack, you've got to have equal or greater attack. 
But we can shuffle this back into the hand and then hit him for 7,000. Which is not quite an OTK. I'm pretty sure there's a way I could have done that and I just didn't see it. And then this, of course, comes back, which actually has a lot more synergy with this than normal. Because one of your few, like, you can play out of the graveyard, but you need a card to discard from your hand in order to start that to begin with. And the fact that this returns to your hand at the end of the turn means next turn you're always going to have something to get your plays started. Like, to discard and then cycle through everything. Got a pupper! Pupper patrol! And I don't really want to destroy their pupper. There's not really anything that's going to do anything for me. I could pretend that I do. Um, yeah, go ahead. I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to wait until they get things. See what happens. Fluffles have an insane draw engine. Discount drawing warehouse. But I've got a double pop without using like any resources because I still have another one of these in the graveyard. And they can't pop this with cat. They'd have to get tiger and some other things. And if they just focus on getting enough attack to get over this, I don't think they'll have enough to like also OTK me through the two Shino birds. Um, and if I can get resources off their field... Now I'll wait for the fusion summon. Because if they fusion summon something that's not big enough, then I might be able to do stuff. And they might have other things in their hand, I don't know. Let us see. So probably going for Tiger if I had to guess here. Or maybe another Shark. Kraken? Kraken, I believe, is targeting removal, but it's non destruct Yeah, they had the entire thing in their hand. Okay. So they can Tiger and pop those two. Um, sure, let's lower the levels, because we can. Then they get to draw and discard. And then we'll see, if they add another, if they use another polymerization, we can get this off the field, because I know their higher one requires a fusion. If they have Fright for Fusion that lets them fusion out of the graveyard, then blowing this up will accomplish nothing. But if they try to poly into something bigger, getting this off the field as a quick effect might prevent them from making anything that can stop me. We're, there's only one way to find out. Ah, getting the scissors back on. Alright. So you're gonna poly or... Appalooza! Ah, interesting. And then the Fright for Fusion. Alrighty. So they can negate that, but then they'll have lower attack. And then you're going to have not quite enough to kill me, I don't think. Depends what this last card is. Or what they're going to try to make. Yeah, because you get Tiger. Tiger boosts everything. It also summons something from the graveyard. That can't be destroyed by Battler card effects. Get that out. And then what's this last card you got here? Nothing. And, yeah, they haven't gotten over it any anyway, so... We're good. They couldn't get quite over 4,000. They've got big. They just don't got very big. And I don't think it matters because I can attack everything they control once each. Like, I can attack all the special summoned monsters. So I can do that. And then also do that. Because this thing is just kind of nutty. Just a little bit. But but they did they put up a pretty good fight. It was a pretty nice match. Like to see stuff like that. Even if they had somehow outed me, I would have been like, dang, that was, that was a nice back and forth. Lots of tactical. Maybe it's just more tactical because I know Fright Furs a little bit better. I'm not an expert, but I know them. Either way, let's go ahead into the ninth duel. Alright, oh, here we are, ninth duel versus Monstacado! I wonder if they're if they're playing the Berserker Soul or whatever. Well, we'll see. Let's go ahead and do a Fafnir. Faff about a little bit. Um, let's get... Nova? Nova. Do I know of it? I don't know what I'm on about. 
Um, let's activate the Nova. We'll get the one that gets me the uh, ritual spell first. And then we can summon this by discarding that. I did that reversed. <laughs> I'm an idiot! Such things happen from time to time! Alright, let's go ahead and get, um... Alpha. To get a monster. Okay. Yep, I could have drawn another card and I was, I was goofed. Yep, and now I can't summon that again to use the effect. A sad state of affairs, to be certain. Um... But then we can alpha to get our thing. This dude. And you know what? Let's We haven't done the safe route yet. So let's just do... We've sat on this before. Let's just make assembled nightingale. And as soon as our turn starts... We'll be like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna... There we go. No battle damage for you. Do your worst. I got Wabaku on wings over here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh? Okay. That, now I'm less, slightly less worry. For a second I thought it was like, set four, mystic mine, smile, and then just like the slow zoom in as like my soul dies. But no, it's the new Infernities, which... Infernities suck! But they're not, they don't, they don't suck that much. Um, let's, let's do the thing. Let's not even Drytron. Who even needs Drytrons? Um, let's just attack directly. Can ye stop? It? I guess I should add the it in there. Um, discard two cards, send the same number of infernities from your deck to the graveyard. All right, there's the Necromancer. And some other stuff. 200. Main phase 2. The God of Batteries. And nothing left for you, good sir. No Infernity Barrier, no Infernity Suppression. Just off you go to the realms of the unknown. Um... Let's go ahead and do this right this time. Now I can make this. Add a ritual. Yep, just reveal. Draw a card. I like drawing a card. Hey. I've got the honest, so I might as well. You'd be funny. Cyber emergency. Not even needing this foolish burial. Who would even want a foolish burial? Not me. Not this guy. Send that. Let's add uh, one of these so we have it. Not let them know what we got. Um, sure, why not? Because we can. Just thin the deck a little bit. And you may be looking like, man, he's got nothing. Like, he's got nothing in his hand. What, what, what is he going to do? You don't understand how infernities work. <laughs> He is in a very good position when all of his cards are in the graveyard and he has nothing in his hand. Um, let's go ahead. Make that. In defense mode. Do I have anything else I could do? Yeah, I might as well add this back. There we go. And what do we have? Let's go ahead and get the last one. The last Drytron. Um, where is it at? There we go. And, uh, do we want to activate it? Nah, we're good. We'll just sit on 4,000, 4,000. Guess we can... Nah, we'll keep it there. We'll keep it in attack mode just to taunt him. Maybe we'll think it can make something big. I want to hit someone with that honest. Honest on Zeus, honest on this. Infernity Beetle. When you have no cards in your hand, you could tribute summon to Infernity Beetle. Um, Infernity Conjurer. I can't even see what it is. We 
We have no cards. Monsters lose 800 attack. Well, you have no card. You can special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. All right. You got this. It's two tuners. So you can make a level five and a level something else. Think you might be in for a spot of bother. We'll see. I mean, I could stop right here. Maybe I should instead of playing with my food, as it's called. But I kind of want to see what Infernities can do now. I'm a little curious. You'll have to let me know. In the future, like, if I have the ability to pop two things and leave him with nothing but a beetle, should I? Samsara Dragon. Okay, you can get five, six, seven. Black Rose. Ah, Clearwing Synchro. Okay, so now he can negate the Draconis. <laughs> Big. <laughs> I wanted to hit someone with that at least once. Gotta hit the guy. It would have been funnier if it was against a, a deck that would have, like, looked like maybe it could have won and then I did something, but I think that he would have been dead either way. Let's go ahead and just finish this off. I assume they don't have a battle fader from the graveyard. And we're gonna hit him with exact game. Didn't plan it out that way. Cyber Dragon Core, too strong. Let's, 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 a little memory for those, oh, the napkin stuck to my head. <laughs> that would have been like a lost to remember. But yeah, the inside of this, it's got like a little leather thing on it, and it, it kind of like, my head gets sweaty, so I put a napkin in there. I'm not sure if there's a better way to handle that. I don't, I've never, I've never been much of a hat wearer before. You have to comment in the comments, though. Let me know if you have any information. Either way, that's nine duels. We've won all but two. Let's go ahead into the 10th duel and finish this fight. All right, here we are, the 10th, the final duel versus Lance Voss, once again going second. Deck performed pretty well. It didn't do didn't do as well as I thought still. Um, I, I thought we would go, like, maybe undefeated or whatever, but again, it's, you know, I probably could have if I had used my original version that had more draw power, or, and I definitely could have if I had used uh, Ben 10 because that thing is just nutty. Get to watch the deck profile. I plan to, to explain that there. Ooh, generators. This might be a spot of bother. Dark World Dealings. Hey, no skin off of my nose. That's a weird saying. Super saying. We'll go ahead. And I guess for those of you who haven't, who didn't figure it out yet, or who didn't know or didn't look it up, I'll, I'll go ahead and tell you the name of my... my so, all of the, the Drytrons are named after stars in the, the constellation Draconis, which looks like a dragon. Almost every uh, every ancient civilization called it a dragon or a serpent of some kind. It's a big, spiddly thing. And so they're called, like... Uh, they, they have two different names. They have, like, a proper name, like El Tanin is one of them. Thuban is another one. And then they also have um, just like a technical definition or technical um, description. Like the the scientific name is just like Dracanus Alpha, Dratagonus Beta. They just go down the Greek alphabet and name all of them in there. So that's where the name has come from. This is uh, Drytron Gamma Eltonin. They're using the regular name and the, the letter. And so Lambda Gisaur? Gisaur? That's the, the very tail, the last star in the dragon, that they don't have one yet. Not sure if they'll make one. Oh, hey, true king of all calamities. My favorite shit. It's everything I want it to be. Um, but that attribute cannot activate their effects. Okay. So I can't activate... Gonna say light, yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, just sitting on calamities. I don't know why this isn't banned yet. It just seems like a very unfair card. And there's not much I can do about it. Unfortunately, because I can't even summon my monsters if I can't activate their effects. The only one I could summon is that other thing. Um, hmm. 
Do I have a level one? So we can activate this. Howdy. It's howdy duty time. It's howdy duty time. We're going to duty to how to bow, but to beat out bow. Um. Yeah, we'll get the. This? Sure, why not? Oh, I could have gotten the other one and destroyed calamities. Oh, I'm dumb. Um. Yeah, I don't care about being in the graveyard. You think I care? I am a zero cares over here. It's gonna keep activating stuff. Um, oh, I could still do it. Pretty sure. Yeah, I get Drytron Core or Cyber Dragon Core. Normal summon. Fuck you. <laughs> get that shit out of my face. I don't want anything to do with it. Um, battle phase? Yeah, I can't fight. No battle phase. Um, but we can use this. Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. People say we monkey around. We're too busy being monkeys to let anybody down. What do I have in my graveyard? Uh, nope, that's the extra deck. Um, one of those, one of those. So, I need... This one? Yeah. And then I can turn it into... I can't use the effects. But I could turn it into Link Karibo. That might stall me. And I can use... No, this is a dark. I can't use Honest on it. Um... Yep, that's all we can do. Unfortunately, that's just how these things work out. I don't think he can negate this, though. I mean, it depends if he has a way to make me draw. Or if he has another King of All Calamities. He might. It's entirely possible. But at least we managed to get through. At least you have an out to get rid of it so they can't just sit on it for an eternity. I didn't die in one turn. I'm just mostly dead. We'll see. I'll give him. I'll we'll go. I'll come back in the battle phase. See if anything interesting happens. <laughs> ah, interesting. Going for the black luster soldier. Uh, yep. Might as well. Not much I can do there. But looks like they didn't have another VFD, so I might get it. Yeah, I might be able to play next turn. That would be sweet. And what's he gonna choose? Just attack again. Gain more attack. Gain. Okay, so he's gonna be higher than this. This is, um, let's see. The activation and effect of ritual spells cannot be negated. And they each draw a card. Yeah, I like a card. Grand, you get to use generator boss stage. Okay. Well, no, if they have another one, they might be able to... When your opponent would special summon monsters. Okay, so that can negate my... Negate and destroy, but not negate and banish, which is important. And to enter Blathnir. I guess what, so you can banish the, the Fafnir? Banish one random card from my hand. Alright, I have two. It's not even what I was going to use to defeat you anyway. Okay... The real question is, am I going to be able to beat through the other thing they've got? Probably not. I'm not sure if I have the resources, but I could certainly try. Um, so we're going to... What else do I have in my graveyard? Do I have any other big rituals? I do not. Might want the 4,000 that can destroy all the field spells. Um, okay. Let's go for this one. Yeah. Just summon a monster. Too late. You can't stop me. You kinda stop me now, lads. <laughs> I am too powerful for you. Add a ritual. Yep, let's go for... 
Um, I think we want to destroy everything, all their spell traps, but we also need to get rid of this thing. So, yeah, let's go for Peacock. Plus, it might be easier to summon. So then you get to banish one, and I think no matter what they banish, I should still have a thing. Um, oh, it's just Link Karibo. Okay. Oh, I get to choose. Um, yeah, I'll just send that to the graveyard. That's fine. Um... So let's do this. Send that to the grave. Get to draw a free card. I like free cards. And actually, it might be better to just do the Zeus because I don't think they can... Oh wait, is this activated yet? No, it hasn't. So we need to bait that out and then we can Zeus. Then we can give them the old Zeus caboose, you know what I'm saying? Um, not sure if I have the ability to. Let's try. Cyber emergency. Call an ambulance, but not for me. Oh, if you negate this, I can discard a card and add it back to my hand. Not sure if you're aware of that. It's pretty neat. Um, okay. I don't need it. Yep, we'll just discard the ritual and get it back. And now he can make a six. All right, what are you going to do with the level six? All I need to do is get two level level one monsters on board. Ah, the desert locust. Interesting. Oh, select a card to discard. Um... Yep, get rid of the Honest. Don't need it anymore. Activate that. What do you possibly have? They have one more set card that could be our problem. You'll have a higher chance of advantage. Yeah, probably. Um, yeah, let's get this one. Let's just clear everything off of here. Attack directly. Let's go ahead and go for the second attack. Main phase two, we can Zeus. Mother effing Zeus. Clear everything off. I don't want you to have anything else. Goodbye. What was it? Oh, boss room. Okay. And then... El Gamma. Discard. Summon a Drytron. Uh, yep. Doesn't matter which one, except it can't be the ritual one, because I need to search my ritual. We'll get that. Add a ritual spell. yep -roo. And there we go. We've worked our way out. Oh, I never got the one that I needed. Oh, I'm dumb. Oh, that's okay. Well, we got the... <laughs> Oopsie doodle. I should... I've. Oh, we got banished. Oh, let's end the turn quickly. Yep, I should have gotten I should have gotten another one of these. I thought maybe I'd have to clear the field off with that. Either way, the thing about generator is once you clear off everything, they have a very tough time coming back. Even if he can summon even if he gets another generator boss stage and he can get back into the loop where he's summoning Har back, um, I can just like attack over it with the four thousand. Let's see, what do you got? Got another spell in hand. Terraforming. Interesting. So I guess you've got the other boss stage or maybe not enough left in the deck to really make it worth it. Hard to say. Hard to leg. Hard to beat. A broken egg. Yep, already got the boss stage. 
All right, so what can you do with these two? IP Mascarena, all right. That searches to get Diviner of Heralds. Not sure if that really helps. So then what can you make during my turn that would be a big use? And can I just use Cyber Dragon Core? No, I already used it on the one, unless it's a machine. Okay, let's blow up your field, or yeah, blow up all the spell traps. This can blow up all the spell traps, I'm not sure if I've mentioned that. As long as you make it with two monsters that have whose levels are two or less. So if you use two Drytrons, then you can blow up all the field spells. Just for fun, just for profit. Just doing it your way, buddy. I'm having it fun, Gary's way. And then if he negates this now, then he sets me up for everything else. Yeah, it's negate. Does it vanish? Negate the activation if you do destroy that card. Okay. Uh, yes. And also, yes. When this is destroyed, I get to summon two Drytron from the graveyard. And now, even if you go into, I don't know, Appalooza, you're still... I've already activated things. Things that you don't want to happen. A sad state of affairs for you and yours. Um... So yeah, I could summon this one and this one. When that's destroyed, you get to summon two back. And then I can attach... Oh, from my deck. Ah, I see. Or extra deck. That's interesting. Um, Let's attach... This from the deck. That'll be funny. And now if you've got a negate, you have to activate it now, because otherwise I've got two materials so I can blow up the board again! <laughs> Zeus! It's so powerful! Um, oh, okay. Let's just add this back. Getting my, making my way downtown, doing stuff. Having things in a kitty cat. All right, and we just need a monster. Um, so Alpha gets a monster. We'll send the one that has a thousand. Add a ritual from deck to hand. Yeah, we'll get another one of these. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just send... Uh... I'll send this, because I can summon it from the graveyard. Who even cares? Not me, certainly. Zero care zone around here. Um. Trying to think of what they could possibly make that would out this, and I don't know. Peacock would send... Peacock's non-targeting. Um... Three, four, five, six. They'd have 200 left. I haven't normal summoned yet, though. Yeah, let's do it. It may be a risk, but we'll do it. Spirit, my favorite, doesn't target. It's already activated it. Even if you IP Mask Arena now, I could shuffle you back from whence you came. And you cannot stop me. It's, it's fun to play a good deck from time to time. Just a deck where it's like, oh shit, they've got like all these negates and everything, and they made VFD, and somehow I played out of the graveyard and still survived. Uh, that's gone, that's gone, that's gone. Thank you. Uh, to attack. Let's just go ahead, um... Normal summon? Hello. Let's get my Cyber Emergency, which I still haven't used. Get that back. Um, yeah, I guess just this. Why not? Um, have I already gotten my all my spells? Yes. And I can't get them back. That's unfortunate. But I can maybe get enough of a link material to to make things. 
But I've got four monsters. Have I made a link yet? Uh, just Link Karibo. But that's fine. I can make a Link 2. And then... A Link 3. And then Excess Code Talker. There we go. Look at me, playing all these non-Drytron cards and Drytrons. So, goodbye. It's been a fun life. You had a nice attempt, but this deck is too broken. <laughs> Holy fuck, Drytrons. Nice to see Rituals doing stuff again after, after, um... After Necroz. Those were the last ones, and those weren't nearly as interesting as this. Although it's a lot of the stuff around them that make them so powerful. Again, the fact that you could just go into Zeus from a Wabaku, go into a Seskote, it's it's nutty. But it makes for interesting duels. I don't know. Looking into 2021, I'm thinking maybe I should uh, try to be a little less harsh when it comes to what decks I can play. Maybe try some of these more powerful decks and just make them goofy. Because I'm having more fun playing a goofy version of this than I am playing a deck that's just, like, outright bad. <laughs> let me know down in the comments. Let me know what you thought of this hat, too, by the way. And let's go in to the end screen. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Drytron Toolbox. We went 8 and 2. Very good. And as I said, I have, I have nerfed this deck. I have made it weaker than it usually is. This deck is very powerful. You take out the Honest. You take out things like Chaos, Max, and Bet. Well, I don't know. You might want to still play Bethor. Maybe Shino Baron. Maybe one of each of these. Most of them are only playing one of these. Put in Ben 10. You put in Ben 10 and this deck starts to get nutty. Um, so de definitely a, a very powerful contender, but very fun to play. And again, you'll have to let me know if you like seeing me play these these more meta contender decks in a goofier way, or if you'd prefer I stick to something more obscure. I'm going to be doing something more obscure next time, so you could check out that. Uh, either way, thank you for coming. I hope you enjoyed. And again, you know, if you want to support the show, check out the Patreon. Link's down in the description. Help us on the march to 2300 so I can afford an editor. And until next time, good luck and have fun. Speaking of the Patreon, by the way, welcome to the end of the video. This is where I take a moment to thank all the patrons who help make the show possible, but especially the high tier patrons who give the most to help out the channel. Their names are Yellow, Davon Crushin, Tiberius Kane Moriarty, Justin Spencer, Austin Glover, Chris W, Montry, Quintingent, Diotic, Dancing Joker, Kirvin, Nathan, King Zirmus, Nightfang, Penumbra Eterna, Trevor F, Nerozard22, and CD Games. It's thanks to people like them that I can afford to play goofy subpar builds of decks like this. Click the link on the screen to join them and become an elite patron yourself, or at the very least drop me a like and a comment, every little bit helps. Today's secret question of the day is, what is your favorite ritual monster? Let me know down in the comments, and until next time, stay frosty, Legos.